What is going on my friends? How are you today? So there's this question that I get uh, quite often and that is how do I get a job as a designer? So today I thought I would just share uh, a few of my thoughts, a few tips that I have uh, based on my experience. Uh, so take them or leave them. So tip number one is to teach everything you know um, and everything you're learning. All right, so why would you want to teach? Uh, one, uh, teaching makes sure that you understand the subject enough uh, to tell it to another person. So it kind of forces you to know what you're talking about on a deeper level, basically. And then on the other side of that is it just helps the community. It helps the community of designers or developers or whatever you're teaching um, by helping people who know less than you get to the point at where you are now. And then the third part of that is uh, by teaching everything that you know, uh, people will look to you as an expert in the field. So that right there could help you get a job or a client. The counter argument I've heard for uh, not teaching everything you know, or no, the counter argument to teaching everything you know would be uh, if I teach someone how to do it, they'll just go off and do it themselves. Um, but from my experience, uh, the opposite is true. Well, it, they're both true, actually. Some people will definitely take what you taught and run off and go do that themselves. But on the other side of that coin is um, it may actually help you get clients or get a job uh, based on what you're teaching because people um, may find you through your teaching um, but may not want to go off and do it themselves. They may just want to hire the professional, the expert to do it for them. So teaching doesn't only help you uh, by understanding uh, the knowledge and what you're talking about even more on a deeper level, um, but it helps the community and could potentially help get you work. All right, so uh, tip number two is to do side projects and do as many as you can. So by doing side projects, you kind of are showing off your work basically. So if you have a cool side project that's super fun or uh, just super useful, super valuable, that could potentially attract a lot of eyeballs uh, viewing uh, your side project. They will see that you uh, created that and therefore view that as your work and uh, potentially could lead to you getting more clients or getting a job through that. Personally, I think side projects are the new resume, to be honest. If I was an employer, I would much rather see um, those five uh, awesome projects that you've launched rather than um, a school that you went to on a piece of paper. Because those five projects are very tangible, I can see them, I can see your quality of work, um, but if you just hand in a resume, um, I'm kind of just uh, taking your word for it. I don't actually know uh, the type of work that you can do. So side projects are awesome. I highly recommend doing them. Uh, they'll get eyeballs on your work. And it's also just a way for you to practice, to try to experiment. All of which of course, uh, just helps you grow as a designer or developer or whatever it is that you do. And then tip number three, I would say practice, um, practice often, but practice in public. Create as much work as you can because it's by uh, the repetition of just creating and creating and creating. It's through that repetition that you uh, learn and grow and just get better. But by doing that in public, uh, it kind of creates a story for you because someone will get to see your journey, like see where you started and see where you're at at this point. Um, but also it will just help you be able to evaluate yourself, um, be able to critique yourself and based on that, um, learn and grow and get better. So each of those steps are uh, obviously very simple, but the hard part to it is that it takes quite a lot of work to do each of them. It takes work to teach, it takes work to do side projects and uh, to consistently practice and get better. Um, but if you do all that, you will start to grow an audience of people who know and respect your work. And then from there, you can use that to uh, get new clients or get new jobs. Um, and basically just uh, grow your career. So yeah, that's all just based on my experience. It's worked well um, for me in my career. I would highly encourage you to do the same thing. I think by doing uh, any of those three, 
um, it will definitely help in your career. Um, you don't have to do all three. All three would be like the trifecta, um, and I think that would be awesome. But if you just wanna do side projects, for example, I know lots of uh, people who have built their careers purely on their side projects that they've launched. Whatever you do, just uh, know it's a journey, it's a process, you got to enjoy it, you got to practice uh, consistently. It's through the repetition. Um, that's how you learn, that's how you grow. So yeah, I would just encourage you to go out there and uh, make awesome stuff. Just keep practicing, uh, but also share what you're working on, share the thoughts behind it and uh, teach people how you're doing it. In my experience, it's by doing all of those uh, in combination uh, that has helped me get to uh, this point in my career. Obviously, there are uh, much better designers than I am um, and people much further in their careers than I am. And they may have taken a different path and they may recommend a different path, but uh, this is what has done pretty well for me. So I would definitely recommend giving it a try. Anyways, guys, uh, that is all for today. I hope you have a beautiful rest of your day, night, whatever, and I will catch you tomorrow. Peace.